Hey homo sapiens and mobiles, it's me Rogue Marvie Scott. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so, today's look is my mermaid inspired, oh gosh why am I looking over there? So, today's look is my mermaid inspired, ins inspired interpretation of what a mermaid would look like basically. Because like, I never really said that and then I went back and then whatever. So, if you want to know how I got this look, keep on watching. Don't forget to give me a great big thumbs up and I can't stretch this thumb up. Well, let's see. Oh, I can. Yay! I can stretch it up all the way. Yay! Finger, 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 finger. No, that's a thumb. Don't forget to share, like and comment and subscribe. Subscribe if you must. Subscribe. I had so much fun doing this makeup look. Um, it is a bit messy just because of the blood that I have on my leg. Now let's show you the leg. So yes. Yes, I know I'm skinny, but I got a boom. It's the leg that I did. Yeah. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, it's my first probably FX video that I've done in a while but you know what does that say but hopefully you like it so starting off I'm going to block out my eyelids with a lighter foundation color and yes my eyebrows have also been blocked out I didn't record that just because I wanted this video to be short and it ended up being a two hour video and I had to condense it into two different other videos so um, I will do a tutorial on how I do my eyebrows at a later date if that's what you'd like leave a comment in the um, comment section if you'd like to see that now I'm just going to create the shape that I want with a cream base makeup and um, going to blend that in I'm going to do the other side of course as well I'm just going to blend that in and make sure when you're blending don't blend too much because you don't want this underneath colour to um, overtake your eyeshadow colour afterwards Now on to eyeshadows and I'm using the lightest blue that I've got so far, the one that I actually want is the turquoise blue and I'm just blending that in the inner corners of my eyes and then I'm going to be putting on a close to that shade and blend that in on the whole of the lid and then obviously continuing out with a darker blue. Marbites, may I apologise for my voice sounding the way that it's sounding right now but I have literally just woke up because I just wanted to get the video out of the way after, you know, recording it and going out in the makeup and, um, you know, getting it out to you guys as soon as possible. Just so you know, this is strictly the face makeup. If you would like to see how I did the prosthetics, there will be a video coming after this one. Now I'm just blending that all in and adding some dark blues and blacks into the crease and to the outer portion of the eye look. Just making sure that all the blend is how I want it to look and it's not too shimmery so I'm actually using matte um, eyeshadows. And then I'm going to dust off the fallout with my highlighting brush. As you can see I'm highlighting my face underneath before I'm going to put on my foundation. Thank you. 
Now it's foundation time and as you can see I'm doing my usual, I'm placing it in spots before I blend it out with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and you've got to be really careful when you get to your eyebrows because you don't want to disturb the makeup where your eyebrows are being held down. I'm going to go on to doing my nose contour now and I'm using a, the same um, foundation that I used to block out my eyes just because I want everything to pop out and as much as possible. So I'm doing this in a really thin line because my inspiration for the nose was actually a swordfish so I'm trying to make my nose look as skinny as possible. As skinny as like you've seen some drag queens if you um, watch RuPaul's Drag Race or whatever. So I'm trying my best to make my nose like look like that. If it does, give me a great big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Now I do want my forehead to appear a lot larger than my chin area and it already is because I have a five head. So I'm going to highlight more of my forehead and then I'm going to contour a shape into my forehead. So I'm going to um, use a darker color to contour. Right now I'm just making sure that that pop on that nose is idle for me. So I'm just going back and forth with that and also, you know, now creating the rounded forehead that I want and blending that out. Onto the contouring, I'm using a dark mixer from Nip and Fab and I'm going in really thinly down my nose, making sure that I even, you know, close in onto that contour and highlighting that I've done onto my nose. I'm bringing that all the way up into my eyebrows and then I'm going to flick into my forehead and create a shape. Now I'm starting to create that shape, that rounded shape that I want on my forehead just to make my forehead look a lot bigger. I want my top half to look bigger than my lower half so that my lower half kind of looks like a triangle and more fish-like. Let me blend that out nicely. Just highlighting a little bit more just because it looked a little muddy and I'm being careful not to go over the contour too much as well. Onto my eyebrows, I'm using a cream-based um, makeup you've seen me use before if you're a subscriber, if you're a Marbite. And I'm not putting this on too thickly and I'm not doing it um, where it's so opaque because I still want the skin underneath to show and also I'm going to be highlighting underneath the brow bone as well my new brow bone just to make it look more um, not realistic but more of that it's a blend of color rather than it being an eyeshadow so more like a marking that you would find in an animal rather than it being an actual eyebrow Onto the facial contour, I'm using a dark cream based um, makeup and I'm just going above my jawline and following that all down to my lips and then I'm going to blend those two lines out. Doing this is making my face appear a lot more slimmer and you can already see that it looks slimmer from the front already. And as I continue to blend, my face is just going to look a little bit more sunken in into the middle, creating a more triangular 
look at the bottom of my face as opposed to the rounded bigness of the top of my face head face head doing the same on my jawline I'm doing that now and I'm just kind of going in roughly because I'm gonna blend this out later on with my fingers so I'm just placing that on roughly and as you can see I'm using my fingers and then I'm going to contour my chin in a circular motion and then blend that out so that it looks more prominent and narrower than my forehead So before we create the scales in the face, we need to highlight loads on the face. We make, need to make sure that the highlight is so pigmented on the face that you can't see the foundation underneath because if you can, then you're not really fishy today, are you? So make sure you go over that highlight a loads of times and when the light hits it, it's like pow! That's what you want. And then you're gonna highlight a little bit on your forehead and you know, just around the perimeters. I'm using a darker highlighter, it's a black highlighter actually, from MUA, from their Halloween palette, just to bring some life into the little contour that I've done. Well, it's not little, is it? <laughs> Now with that dark highlighter, I'm going to snatch that nose a little bit more and just go down the bridge of my newfound swordfish nose. Using the edge of a sponge eyeshadow applicator, I'm going to now highlight my nose because I just want this to look really skinny, like I've already said. I just want it to just look like what? the hell is this? What nose is this? Where did you come from? Who are you? I'm a Marbasian mermaid. <laughs> So here's where I had to get a little creative because I couldn't find my fishnet stockings so I had to use a um, piece from a smoothie maker or shaker that you get in protein shakes to create the scales onto my face and I'm just going to place that on my cheekbones and onto my forehead and everywhere on my face basically using eyeshadows of um, the eyeshadows that I kind of used on my eyes already. Now I'm just colouring my um, neck in with red before I place my gills 
because I've made gills with um, some prosthetics and I'm just mixing red and pinks just to create like a fleshy you know inside color of the gills afterwards once before I after I've placed them and then I'm going to place the gills on first I'm using spirit gum to place the larger piece on first making sure that this um, spirit gum that I've got on is tacky now when I place the gills on first they were laying a little flat so I used some cotton wool to prop them up you're gonna see that later on um, but because I'm recording and um, I'm a little ahead of schedule now you can see it place the gills on and then I'm going to place the cotton wool just to prop that up and then prop the others up also just to make it look like you can see into my gills I will do a prosthetic video which is coming up later on on how I made the gills the hand and the leg afterwards so do bear with me and um, watch that video if you want the whole mermaid look but if you just want the face well you're doing the right thing and you're watching this video Now to make these pop a little bit more, I'm darkening around them and I'm going over the gills with some black eyeshadow and brown eyeshadows and some blue eyeshadows and then later on I'm going to go in with some foundation and I'm going to blend that out just like you can see here and blend that out so you can't really see where it attaches onto the skin but then it blends in as if it is, you know, actually my gills. And there you go, there's the gills and just adding some red in there just to bring back the life of oxygen breathing. And that is it for the gills. Now it's onto the lips, I'm only doing my top lip, mixing a green and a purple. Um, you've seen me mix lipsticks before this way, so I'm not going to go too much into that. But thank you for watching because this is coming up to the end of the video and it means so much to me that you've been watching. Please do comment down below on how you think this look has come out. Don't forget to watch the trailer for it because it is on a separate video ju just due to my not being able to upload such long videos and to tell you the truth I didn't want this video to be that long because nobody really watches YouTube videos for that long. So I'm gonna go now and um, hope you subscribe. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go now before my camera dies and yeah. Ciao for now. Bye. Frank Marby Scott.